Hi, it's Tom from Take Time to Travel. Today, I'm at the Fairmont Empress Hotel in beautiful Victoria, BC for their world-famous afternoon tea. Completed in 1908, the shadow-style Fairmont Empress is one of the most iconic buildings in Victoria and is designated a National Historic Site. You can even arrive in style at the Empress in a horse-drawn carriage. Let's have a look inside. Right when you walk into the lobby, there's a massive Christmas tree and a beautiful sparkling chandelier. There's even a resident golden lab who is the friendliest dog in the world. As you climb the stairs on your way to the Fairmont Empress's afternoon tea or high tea, you realize the scale of how large the lobby really is. The spectacular chandelier is made of 250,000 hand-cut crystals, making it a truly magnificent piece of art. On the way to afternoon tea, you walk through the queue at the Empress and Q Bar. Along the wall are pictures of Queen Victoria that show the progression of her 63-year reign. It's such an impressive room with high ceilings, ornate woodwork, and carved beams. The lobby lounge is stunning. As soon as you walk in for afternoon tea, you notice the stately columns, the high ceilings, the ornate moldings, and the beautiful chandeliers. It's a spectacular setting for afternoon tea. When I was there, the lobby lounge was beautifully decorated for Christmas. We were fortunate to be seated at a nice table next to the window. While we sipped on the tea that we had each chosen from the tea menu, we were able to enjoy lovely views of Victoria Harbor. I tried the Bella Coola tea, which has orange notes and highlights of velvety sweet pineapple. It was quite tasty. It didn't take long for the Empress to fill up. I would recommend making a reservation in advance. When the food arrived, it was beautifully arranged on a three-tiered platter. The top layer had the delicious sweets, the middle layer had the savory finger sandwiches, and the bottom layer had the scones, served warm with house-made clotted cream and berry preserves. Everything was amazing, but my favorite was the smoked salmon. This platter was for three people, and it's more filling than it looks. We ended up taking some home. Overall, the meal was very enjoyable, and if you're into afternoon tea, then this is the one that you shouldn't miss. Throughout the entire visit, we were entertained by someone at the grand piano playing Christmas carols. It was a very memorable experience for Christmas Eve. I browsed the shops beside the lobby lounge, and ended up getting a few gifts while I was there. The Fairmont Empress is perfectly located next to the harbour, so if you're travelling to Victoria, BC and are looking for what to do, then make sure to check out this National Historic Landmark. Now I haven't been to a lot of afternoon teas, but this afternoon tea at the Fairmont Empress was quite special. But it's not cheap. It costs $85 per person plus tax and tip and can go up from there depending on what kind of tea you have or if you have champagne with it. I'm glad I was able to have this experience, but it's something you would just do for special occasions like I did for Christmas Eve. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, I'd really appreciate if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on future videos of my travels around British Columbia and hopefully in the near future around the rest of the world. Remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.